Islamic Republic of Iran, has long ranked among the world's top executioners. But with the recent death sentences, handed down to protesters, critics say the regime has taken capital punishment to a new level. The regime executed 314 people in 2021, 20% more than the previous year. Many of those had to do with drug-related crimes. This year, a number of protesters are entangled in Iran's court system, many of whom face a particularly unjust judicial process. Human rights activists have warned there's a real risk that many of them could become another number in the growing list of those executed by the Islamic Republic. At least 43 people are currently facing execution in Iran. They include a doctor, a rapper, a karate champion, a barber and an actor, sons, grandsons and fathers. They are among the people Iran has hastily sentenced to death in its campaign to quash the months-long uprising against the Islamic Republic. In December 2022, two men were hanged in quick succession. On January 7, 2023, two others met the same fate. At least 15 other men and boys remain at risk of execution. Some human rights groups cite higher numbers, which the New York Times was not able to independently verify. Most of the men have been charged with Moher Eb, a broad term that means waging a war on God and that typically carries the death penalty in Iran. Their trials were fast-tracked behind closed doors by Iran's revolutionary court system with government-assigned lawyers representing the defendants. The evidence presented has often been opaque, sometimes relying on coerced confessions or grainy video footage. Rights groups say that in some cases, there are accounts and evidence of torture. Not every detail of the judicial proceedings or the purported crimes could be confirmed. But the Times interviewed friends and relatives of some defendants and corroborated information with activists and reports by Amnesty International and other major human rights groups. Between December 8, 2022 and January 7, 2023, four young people were executed on capital charges in connection with their participation in the protest movement sparked by the September 16 death of Masa Amini in custody. Amini, 22, was arrested in Tehran by Iran's morality police for improperly wearing her hijab. Iranian authorities claim she died of an illness. Her family says she died from blows sustained during detention. The first of the four executions, that of Masa Shakari was carried out on December 8. Four days later, Mahirez Rahanavard was executed only 23 days after his arrest on November 19, 2022. On January 7, Mohammed Mehdi Karami and Mohammed Hosseini were executed. All were executed secretly without their families being informed, according to the UN Human Rights Commissioner. In a November 11, 2022 report detailing 21 death row cases, Amnesty International said the legal proceedings in all the cases were grossly unfair and in violation of numerous rights, including access to lawyers and the right to be protected from torture. The trials of those who are facing capital charges related to protests have been a total travesty of justice with proceedings that bypass safeguards in Iran's own penal code and criminal procedure law. It reiterates its steadfast opposition to the death penalty, everywhere and in all circumstances, and its commitment to the worldwide abolition of this unjust and inhuman punishment. These appalling executions add to the many other serious and unacceptable violations of basic rights and freedoms committed by the Iranian authorities. France has denounced them many times, 
in public and directly to the Iranian authorities, as well as with its partners in the European Union, which has adopted sanctions against the violent crackdown in Iran, carried out in breach of Iran's international commitments on human rights. The execution of demonstrators cannot take the place of a response to the Iranian people's legitimate aspirations for freedom. The crackdown against the protesters initially slow in coming is now in full gear and taking many forms. Beyond the four men, two dozen others have been sentenced to death in fast-track trials. Another 19,000 have been jailed. And more than 500 have been shot at protests or died in custody. More than 70 of the dead have been children. As a new year begins, the regime appears to have found its answer, brutal punishment, meted out in accordance with Sharia law. In the words of the National Security Council of Iran, the riots represent a war against the Islamic Republic of Iran. In a December 27, 2022 speech, President Ibrahim Raisi described the protesters as enemies of the Iranian nation and Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei weighed in last week, accusing protesters who set fire to trash cans of treason and calling on the responsible bodies to deal with treason seriously and justly. For decades, Iran has equated crimes against the nation with crimes against God. Before he died in 1989, Ayatollah Ruhollah Khamenei, the founder and first supreme leader of the Islamic Republic, issued a fatwa, or religious edict, saying, It is naive to show mercy to those who wage war on God. At the time, several in the clerical elite disagreed, but his successor Ali Khamenei has sidelined the more moderate clergy, favoring heavy-handed retribution toward those who question the tenets of the regime. The numbers facing execution would be higher were it not for the fact that many are very young, the average age of those currently in custody is 15 years. The Iranian penal code specifies that those under the age of 18 cannot be sentenced to death. Thank you for watching Death Row.